Hey guys, welcome back. I just want to do a quick video about the uh, sine, cosine, tangent values of quadrant angles, that is 0, 90, 180, and 270. Uh, we went over this in class the other day, but I just want to like get it really, really good one last time. Um, the thing that you need to know to do a trig value of a quadrant angle is the unit circle. So my unit circle looks like this, and it's called the unit circle because has it has a radius of one. So the radius is one, and if we have a point on the unit circle, we'll pick that point, and we'll give it coordinates x comma y. We connect this to the origin, like we do when we're usually making our triangles. This length is one unit long. If we drop straight down to start making a triangle, this length then is going to be exactly the same as the y coordinate. <clears throat> the base of your triangle is going to be exactly the same as the x coordinate. So using this picture, which I'm keeping over on the side for a reference, using this picture we can come up with three equations that are very, very important. Sine of theta, if this is our angle theta, is going to be y over 1, or just y. Cosine of theta is going to be x over 1, adjacent over hypotenuse, or just x. And tangent of theta is going to be the y over the x, that is the opposite over the adjacent side of each of these triangles. So these three critical formulas are what let us do the sine and cosine and tangent of quadrant angles even though there's no triangle that you can draw. We in math like to extend our formulas for these angles outside of the triangle. Here's a triangle. We're going to extend our formulas to places where there is no triangle. When the angle is zero degrees, imagine that there is a triangle. Well, it would have to be drawn something like this. Zero degrees and then this side could be 1, but if this side is 0, then the hypotenuse would have to be 1 also. This just gets super weird, so we're not even going to try to draw this triangle. Instead, we're going to just think about a point on the unit circle that is exactly one unit away from the origin. We'll call that one unit. So the coordinate of this point is going to be 1, 0. Well, if we look at our equations over on the side then, sine of 0 is equal to the y-coordinate, so that's just 0. Cosine of 0 is equal to the x-coordinate, so that's 1. And tangent of 0 is going to be y over x, or 0 over 1, which is just 0. So even though there's no triangle to draw, or like a real triangle, it can't be done. Because we came up with these equations, and because we trust in the power of math and the power of patterns, these equations have to work even when there's no triangle. All right, zero is actually kind of hard because there's no angle at all. 90 degrees might work a little better. So the initial side of the angle is still right here. You turn 90 degrees. There's still no triangle to draw. So let's just pick a point on that terminal side. This time the point is 0, 1 with our x and our y. So using the equations over on the side, sine of 90 has to be 1. Cosine of 90 has to be 0 because it's the x-coordinate. And if you look at this, if there were a triangle, and there's not, but if there were, the base would have to be 0, and that's the adjacent side. So it sort of makes sense that cosine of 90 should be 0. And then tangent of 90, again, we have to kind of trust in the math here, would be y over x, that would be 1 over 0, that's undefined. Enjoy. Next, 180. At 180, if this is our initial sign, we rotate a full half turn all the way over to here. Again, we'll just pick a point on the end. And the most basic point to pick is going to be negative 1, 0. So sine of 180 has to be same as y-coordinate. There's no height in this triangle. It's an impossible triangle. Sine of 180 is 0. 
cosine of 180 is one unit away from the origin, but since it's in the negative direction, this is going to be negative 1, just like the coordinate. And tangent of 180, 0 over negative 1, x, y over x. So tangent of 180 is going to be 0. 270 degrees. At 270 degrees, the angle starts here and rotates all the way around past 90, past 180, all the way to this negative y-axis. We'll pick a point on the negative y. We'll call that point 0, comma, negative 1, x, comma, y. Then, again, we're using the formulas on this side. These are the formulas that govern all of this. Sine of 270 equals the y-coordinate, negative 1. Cosine of 270 is the x-coordinate. That's going to be 0. And tangent of 270 is going to be undefined. And that's it. That's all you need. Here are the values, all in one screen. Here are the equations, all in one screen. I hope this has been helpful. I really think that a unit circle idea is the best way to memorize this, is the best way to learn this. If you can have this picture in your head, you can recreate any of these formulas. And if you have this picture and these formulas, you can recreate any of these values without really having to memorize six or nine or 12 different things. Just have this one picture. I hope that's been sufficient. Uh, have a good evening. I will see you guys tomorrow.